finally a project pan that is not the finale. Oh my goodness me. I know December is rife with project pan finales, but this is fantasy is not one of them. It's unique. I'm really happy to say that this is just a normal update of this is fantasy today. Guys, this project refreshes in October. So we've already had the introduction for this year. So it's just gonna be a casual, normal update, a little bit of a break from the madness. If you don't know, this project was created by the wonderful Ali. She has made a huge list of fantasy creatures and each creature correlates to a makeup prompt that we then have to pan. I like to do this project randomly, though people do hand select their prompts as well. Either or is absolutely fine. I just like the added torture for myself. So I've had some really, really good progress this month. I'm really, really happy. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. Everything on my face will be linked down in the description box as well. So if anything does take your fancy, you know exactly where to find it. I love this look so much. I knew I had to film with it. I have not filmed with this look and I wasn't planning on filming today, but I just had to. I had to. I can't waste this look. So let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to go from newest to oldest. The first prompt was the prompt Skeela. Skeela? I don't know. I don't know. But this was a double prompt. This was a, a double product prompt. So I had to use one thing 12 times and one thing six times. So I rolled in two water liners. One was Caution from Barry M, which is the bright blue one. And the other one is called Bank Tank, and that's from Fenty. And this is like a khaki green shade. This is what it looks like today. I'm not doing progress pictures just because the usage is very, very low goals. And also the Fenty one doesn't roll down. So if I roll it all the way up, I'm stuck with it like that. And I, I really don't want to do that. So these are the liners. I'm actually wearing Caution today in my waterline. It goes so well with this look. What can I say? I just had to. So Caution I have used five times and my goal on this was 12 uses. And Bank Tank I have used three times and my goal for this was six uses. So we haven't hit our goals yet, but I'm playing around with them. Bank Tank was definitely neglected in my collection, which is why I really wanted to roll it in. Caution definitely was not. Caution is one of my favorite shades to wear in my waterline. It is such a vibrant blue. I adore it so much. It is so beautiful. So I knew that I had to have these two in together as a pair. Bank Tank has not lost any weight. So last month we weighed 7.33 grams and we still weigh 7.33 grams. And Caution has actually lost a little bit of weight. Last month we weighed 5.15 grams and at this month we weigh 5.04 grams, meaning we lost 0.11 grams, which is really, really good. I have sharpened this once in the past month. So some of the weight loss would have been from that as well but I'm happy with this progress. I'm more than happy working on this blue. I would work on this blue forever. Like it is one of the best eyeliners from the drugstore. I will have it linked down below as well as everything else that I talk about in this video. I would 100% recommend it. I mean, you can see in my waterline, it is stunning. It is so beautiful. So yeah, I'm excited to keep working on these. Next was for the Prompt as Sphinx, and that was a royal theme product. Now, some of you may know The Lion King is my favorite film in the world. So I rolled in my Jungle Princess palette. So royal theme, Lion King, princess, it was perfect. It was a double royal theme. This is what it looked like last month. You can see it's a very spring-like palette. So it wasn't really the perfect time of year to roll it in. However, it did go very, very well with other shades that I'm panning. It went very, very well with my Pan That palette and it went very well with my Pan Those Eyeshadow shades as well. So my goal was five uses. Last month I was at two uses and I'm happy to say I have used it the additional three uses for a total of five and you're seeing what it looks like today. Hopefully you can see a little bit more use on it. I hope so anyway, because I really want this palette to look loved. This palette was definitely on the chopping block for quite a long time. I'm really happy I've played around with it in the past few months because I've actually really enjoyed it. I've used these two shades here with Antique Bronze from my Pan That palette and they make a really beautiful smoky eye. I also did this look. I have to share this look. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. 
which I used elephant graveyard and I used lioness for this look. I also added a little bit of royal in there as well on the inner part of the lid and the like wing. It was just so beautiful. I absolutely adore it. I also did a really nice smoky eye with these two with right hand on the inner corner. That would be in some looks coming like later on in the month. I have pre-filmed quite a few videos for later on in the month. So you'll see that in a little bit. But I've really, really enjoyed playing with this palette. It was definitely an underdog. The quality isn't the best like it's not incredible especially the shimmers the shade main gal which is a blue is really really nice but the other shimmers are pretty lackluster they do require a lot of building up but the mattes are nice i like the mattes i liked playing with them it's a different color story to what i usually go for it's different especially for this time of year but i'm really really happy that i played with it and yeah, I actually really do like this palette. So we have lost quite a lot of weight. Last month we weighed 88.41 grams, and this month we weigh 87.81 grams, meaning we lost 0.33 grams, which I'm really, really happy with. That's a lot of products. 0.33 grams for only three uses? I did double check, I double weighed it, it was definitely correct, so I don't know, maybe I'm just a master, who knows? But yeah, we have hit our five use goal, so I will be rolling that out. Next I have the prompt Fenrir, and that was a tricky product, and what is more tricky than finishing an eyeshadow? I don't know, you tell me. So this was my Soph X Revolution Franken shade. It was a Franken between Rosewood and Mug Cakes, and you're seeing what it looked like last month. We had got a pretty decent pan on it, so I'm very, very happy about that, but we were working to completely finish this shade. And this is what it looks like today. Hopefully you can see I have expanded the pan a little bit. I'm using this day by day in my brows. It's my main brow shade, when I'm not working on anything else in other projects and I'm just really happily working along with this. Slowly we are finishing it. I am wearing it in my brows today. You can see it's a really, really, really good shade match for me. I've used this 18 times this month for a total of 44 uses in the project. And bear in mind, this project's only been going on for two months. So I think that's really, really good going and I'm really happy with myself with that. I can see the pan expansion. I don't think it will be that long before I finish this and this will be amazing because it's two eyeshadows in one which means when I finish this I will be finishing two eyeshadows which is amazing. I have lost some weight. Last month it weighed two grams and this month it weighs 1.94 grams meaning we lost 0.06 grams. Very very happy. I will continue to use this. It's not clashing with anything so yeah, I'm very happy. Next was the prompt A Mermaid, and that was a product from a woman-owned company, and I chose a very neglected product in my last round of This Is Fantasy. This is my Caramel Cutie Bronzer from Fenty Beauty. This is what it looked like last month. You can see we hadn't really used it very much. In my last round of Fantasy, I did aim to use this 30 times, and I don't think I even got past 10. Like, it was, it was bad, it was neglected. So I knew I had to roll it into this round of fantasy. And this is what it looks like today. I was hoping to hit my 30 use goal, but unfortunately I've only used it seven times this month for a total of 22 uses in the project. So we're a little way off our 30 use goal, but it's not the end of the world. I think we will definitely hit it next month. I mean, hopefully you can see that the FB imprint has definitely gone down a, a little bit, maybe a little, a teeny teeny tiny bit maybe. I'm really really loving this bronzer. It's the bronzer I'm wearing today. It's a really really nice shade for me. It is a little bit dark but like that's my preference. I do love a dark bronzer on me even though I am so pale. I don't know. I think it just looks good. What else can I say? We have again lost some weight. So last month this weighed 61.67 grams and this month it weighs 61.59 grams, meaning we lost 0.08 grams. So as I said, this does have a 30 use goal. However, 
we're 22 uses in. We just missed it, but I'm very, very happy to be working on this because I do really, really enjoy it. And finally, the Prompt Gnome, and that was a gemstone theme product. And I thought, you know what, for this, I am going to have some fun, I think. And I rolled in my The Pastel Roses shade in Tourmaline. This is what it looked like last month. The progress pictures are pretty redundant for this because like, I don't think you're gonna be able to see any visual progress because this is what it looks like today. I had a five use goal on this and this month I have used it three times for a total of five uses. So this will also be rolling out this month, which means two total rollouts. This is such a beautiful green to pink shade. I did use it in that like winged green look that I showed you earlier. It went really, really, really well with my Jungle Princess palette and that's why I wanted to roll them in together and they are rolling out together as well. The color story in this is just perfect to pair with this glitter and yeah now I can say that this glitter has not been neglected because I do have a little bit of a habit of neglecting some of my glitters not because I don't like them but just because like they take a little bit more to use like you've got to use the glitter glue then you've got to get the right brush clean out the fallout all that kind of stuff I know it makes me sound so lazy but it is what it is, okay? But yeah, I'm really happy that I have used this, I have loved this, and I have used this five times. Okay, so that means two products to roll in. So I have my Tiny Decisions app with all of the fantasy creatures I am gonna roll, and we are gonna see what we get. What is the first one? It is Goblin. Okay, I'll take that. And then the next one is, I'm really, really scared. Ghoul. Okay, so two Gs, Goblin and Ghoul. I'm going to see what that prompt is and then I'm going to come back with the new products. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I've got two very similar prompts actually. The first one was Goblin and that is a product that gives you trouble. Now I've just been talking about how the glitters that I use can sometimes be a little bit more of an extra effort to use. So a little bit of trouble. So I've rolled in another one. This is the shade Autumn Love and it is like a greeny gold to pink. I think this will be amazing with the remaining shades in my Pan Matte palette. Uh, yeah, it's like a pinky, warm tone palette. The shades left are like a red, an orange, and a few pinks. So I think this will go really, really well. And hopefully it'll give me a little bit of a push to use that palette even more because it's December now. It is the last month to work on it. And I'm so scared. I really am. So I'm going to put a five use goal on this again, similar to Tourmaline. So one rolls out and one rolls in. And the next prompt was a product you wish was dead. <laughs> So very, very similar prompts, a product that gives you trouble and a product you wish was dead. Now I've recently done a massive declutter series. If you did miss it, I will link it up in the cards. But obviously that means I don't really have anything that I, I don't like anymore because it would have been decluttered. So I've taken this as a different kind of prompt and it is a product you wish was finished. I hope that counts because this is my AOA concealer. It's the last one left. It's the shade Fair Ivory. These concealers are very, very old. I used to have three of them and this is the only one left. So I'm gonna finish it. I wish it was finished. So I'm gonna finish it in this project. I'm gonna make a little marking and then we're gonna track it every month and see how long it takes to completely finish this bad boy. So there we go. That is this update, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed these new prompts that I rolled in. I I'm really, really excited to play around with them and get some more love on more products in my collection. And it should be really, really easy this month because I am doing so many finales. And then I'm having like December to just kind of chill, do like the remaining projects. So pan that palette, this project, project level up, things like that. So these products won't be competing so much with other things in my collection because I'm rounding out so many projects. So definitely check back next month to see how I did on this project and also stick around because I'm doing Vlogmas. I am uploading every single day this month. It's such a struggle but it is such a fun time. You guys seem to be absolutely loving it and I am as well. So this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. If you did enjoy this video definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video.
Bye-bye.